Good afternoon, everybody. Olav here, and welcome back to Dex Murphy Overseer. So we are now in this um, super spiffy lab. A Link's LS mug. I've got to play that one of these days. Ha! Ah. Appears to be a recently clipped newspaper article. Well, what does it say? Uh, USF professor dies in crash, Valerie Davis. Uh, professor of physiology at the University of San Francisco died in one vehicle speeder crash Tuesday. Witnesses say the speeder veered out of control without apparent cause and struck a power line. The victim who was traveling alone was pronounced dead at the scene. Police found no evidence of mechanical failure and have also ruled out alcohol and drugs as a factor for the accident. Superb! That, um... That sounds great. So, yeah. The mysterious informant said I'd find answers to all my questions if I found this place. Maybe this computer is the mother load. Possibly. Can I... Turn, can I use it? Okay, there's something over here. Pass card reader. That looks out of place. Implant removal station. Well, the IRS has always been good at removing everything else from me. Okay, so maybe we need to put... Pass card reader's hooked up. Now I'll need to scan the pass card. Right. Um, well, apparently I have to do something else before I can start the implant removal procedure. Maybe like, I don't know... Aha! Seems to be a large light panel. There's a card here! This was Greg Call's pass card. Right. This thing has anagram written all over it. Well, I mean, not literally. Uh, pass card F was... Singer, no, but, um... Uh, I don't know. So I'm guessing that this is the card that we use I in... I better get rid of the overseer implant that's in my head before I do anything else around here. Well, that's great, but how? Oh, a chip-making device manufactured by Frito Intel. The two mega corporation merged a few years back and cornered the chip market. Ha! Rubik's keyboards, putting the challenge back into data entry. Oh, uh, that 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 looks like my head. Well, this looks like an autoclave. It's used for storing items in a sterile environment. What do we have to sterilize our head? Rubik's keyboards. Hey, slushy machines. I I don't think so. I I don't think those are slushy machines, Tex. Um standard keyboard. Great. Oh, a chip making device manufactured by Frito Intel. Well, that won't work. Thing gives me flashbacks to my former dentist and the horrible wisdom teeth incident. Wait, what are you? Uh, the special Mengele model syringe. Okay, do I have to inject myself with something? Well, that's not gonna work. I don't. I don't get it. I don't. I don't get what I'm supposed to do. Uh, removing the implant. 
find and get the notes from the clipboard under the patient. Oh. Oh. If the implant I'm carrying around is on this list, it must be number P333. Now I need to figure out which of the kamikaze implants will neutralize it. Okay, so let's see here. Locate some type C type. So type P implants would be N216. Okay, so N216. What was that? Gideon Enterprises. Uh, okay. Okay, so I need an N216 kamikaze thing. Well, this looks like an autoclave. It's used for. But where. Do, how do I find that? Get the pass card from the clipboard. Uh, use the pass card on the autoclave. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Right. These aren't the ones I need. These aren't the ones I need. The ones I need. These aren't the ones I need. That's the one I'm looking for. So pick it up. I guess Greg Call must have designed the solution to neutralize the overseer implants. In one eight four to inject it into my bloodstream. One eight four Uh okay. Well, use the syringe. Here we go. Mmm, yummy, yummy, uh, violent green colored goo going into our bloodstream. You injected yourself with that thing? I had to. Then I went into the scanning booth. The fun was just... Stupid. I was gonna say, who else is gonna do it? The green diamond must indicate the location of the P333 implant. Oh. I have to move the kamikaze implant into one of the blood vessels where it will appear as a blue cross. Then I have to navigate it until it reaches the implant and neutralizes it. Right. Okay. So we need to figure out where this... Uh-oh. Those flashing dots look like trouble. Must represent antibodies. And I guess they're out to get rid of the new infection. I'd better steer clear. Oh, joy. This is fun. Okay. No. I, I I wanted you to go into All right. So there um... All right. I I can't see it I and realize the overseer chip which someone had designed to be fatal in my case or Duh. a pulling device to others. I still had no idea who was pulling the strings, but as I stepped out of the removal station, I heard sounds just outside the main entrance. I ducked behind a display panel and waited to see who it was. Right. Oh, hi. Isn't that like Oh, Carl Howard, is it? I think that's his name. Hello. Hello. Oh, 
Okay. I'm really not very good with surprises. <laughs> Neither am I. It isn't my mystery man. What's your name? Larry Hammond. I would have told you earlier, but uh, I have some serious trust issues going on. With all that's happened, uh, I've got the right to be a little paranoid. Yeah, I guess you do. You haven't been using the code name Poison Pawn, have you? No. Why? That's not important. How'd you get here? I followed you. I wanted to make sure you came here alone. Well, I hope you were more careful about being followed than I was. Yeah, I have a very strong sense of self-preservation. I even brush my teeth carefully. Yeah, it shows. <laughs> wow, really? Why don't we just start at the top and see what you know? Tell me about Carl Linsky. Well, Linsky and I both worked on STG, but uh, I didn't know him back then. I recognized his picture in the paper from when he had his suicide. Well, that's helpful. How about STG? It was a really mysterious operation. When Greg brought me in to do some programming, I didn't know anybody on the design team, and we weren't encouraged to get to know each other either. And once we got our instructions, friendly place, uh, we went off to work in different places. None of us knew what each other was working on. So, who was in charge of this little circus? Greg had been there the longest. He was pretty much running the show. So is he this overlord I've come to hear so much about? Oh. No, there, there had to have been higher-ups. Uh, I knew Greg for a long time. We were in Mutant League together. Oh. Just so I understand something here, the reason you got in contact with me is because you wanted me to find Call's lab, right? Why? Well, early on in the program, Greg got really paranoid and relocated his base of operation. And no one knew where he was at. I didn't even see him until after I finished my work with STG. A couple of weeks ago, after all the mysterious deaths, I decided to go underground and get a read on my life expectancy. Well, you see, I was underground, and Greg found me, which didn't give me a great sense of well-being. Anyway, he, he said he needed my help. To do what? He wanted to find the past cards we'd all been issued. Right. See, so all eight of us received these cards at the beginning of the project. Yeah, I know that. Transmit data from wherever we were working to some sort of central computer. Now, the whereabouts of that computer, that, that was top secret. Well, what about the chess moves? Oh, I don't know anything about those. I think they were Greg's idea. He designed the cards. Right. Yeah. You take it. Just holding the thing next to my skin just gives me the hives. No, it's that polyester. <laughs> okay. You told me if I came here that I was going to get the answer to all of my questions. I said that. No, I, I was just guessing. I, I got something that might help. Now, Greg gave me this the last time I saw him. Now, he said, don't open it unless something happened to him. Well, something I'd happened. say something happened to him. What are we supposed to do with it? What is it? What are we supposed to do with it? Uh -uh. It's your problem now. I told you everything I know. I gave you a pass card, and I gave you what Greg gave me. I'm out of here. I'm going to go somewhere and try not to get killed. Hasta la pasta, baby. Thanks. Hey, Larry. Yes. Thanks for the help. Creepy little guy. Anytime. So Larry was the mysterious informant. And he said he wasn't the poison pawn. Right. What was in the envelope he gave you? There was a note written from Greg called to Larry. There was more to the content of the note than met the eye. Right, so it's coded. Okay, so we the have... Card. The corresponding scrambled password is written on the envelope. Okay. Ward? Draw.
Larry, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but you can help me to figure out a riddle. This can be found out if you know my tendency to always pass along a good word and see what follows. Putting this message in a note was the idea I had first because of the letters you've written me. Good luck, Larry. I'm relying on your most excellent and proven brain. Go carry on in trying to achieve the ultimate goal, Greg. Okay. Well, that looks confusing. Stalemate re- uh, Okay. Okay, so those are- that's- that's all the chess moves. So we have RXE7 QXD7 BF5 RD1 BXE7 BD7 KF1 and PXE7 Okay, so there's all the the all of those in a specific lo in a specific thing. Kyle told Larry not to read this message unless something happened to him. There must be some sort of secret message contained in this note. Probably. But what? But how do I how do I decipher it? All right, so. Wrong pass card. Okay, so not draw. Um, I have no idea. I don't. Where would where would I find that? Well, I certainly hope the switch doesn't control anything potentially lethal. Nope, just the lights. And that would have told, and that would have given me a clue as to where that card, that pass card was. Or that, yeah, or the, the reader or whatever it was that was in there. Okay, so how do I find his password? I want to know... Okay, so decoding the letter means find to get UPEX package from STG office. Okay, well, that's going to have to wait until another time because we're all out of time. As always, thank you guys very much for watching and stay tuned for more from Olav. Productions. If you want to be so crazy and also lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even is that a no is that a bra hanging up there? That doesn't like, ooh, ooh, spark your interest that he has a The big point for this was that the nation's copying seriously damaged the marketability of the serialization rights.